welcome to the No Format Podcast Halloween Special. Yes, we're back to lift your spirits, <laughs> and we're dying to have a fun time. You're welcome, Charlie. <laughs> I enjoyed that. <laughs> so with me, as you've just heard, it's Charlie. Hello. I just, not... I just put a button in my mouth the moment I stopped introducing uh, you, because I'm uh, sure I'm going to be talking again soon. Uh, that's why I did say, did you want to eat them before we started recording? <laughs> <laughs> and the answer was no, but I thought I'd have more time for some reason. Yeah, didn't think about it. <laughs> So that's the reason for my <laughs> chewing in the middle of that. It's weird because it's that isn't even a chocolate button, that's just a button off your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we're back with um, a Halloween special. We've only been gone a week, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. We and are. we decided, you know, it's solid. We'll come back for one a one off. I say come back. We're planning on coming back. We've got a load of more episodes planned. We're just having the season break so we can record some more. Um, so the plan today is we're going to watch some short films on YouTube, uh, short horror films, should I say. And talk about them afterwards. Um, what well, before we get started on that? So, sort of like, are you big into your horror films, Charlie? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't used to like them. Um, and then I started watching them because, well, my my current. Well, I say my current wife, as in I'm gonna have a different wife, but um, she quite liked them. So I used to go to the cinema with her because she liked them. Um, and I wasn't that bothered, but actually I got quite into them. I mean, I'm not. I don't believe in ghosts or anything. Um, but I still enjoy. I'm still quite still enjoy them. I, I particularly like the like the. The ones that are based on true stories, they're my sort of favourite ones because it adds a bit of like, I don't know, more believe believability, is that a word? Yeah, I get what you're on about. Yeah, what about you? Um, Not really watched a huge amount, but I do enjoy the ones I've been watching recently. Yeah. I got into them last year, more than anything. I decided like, I've never watched Halloween, let's watch Halloween. Yeah, okay. Because I've watched the documentary about the making of it. Yeah. And I really enjoyed it and then binged like every Halloween film that came after it, no matter okay. how bad they were. Yeah, yeah. Um, And yeah. So I wouldn't say I've watched loads of horror films, mm. but the ones I've watched I have enjoyed, and they don't terrify me. No. Um, you talking about ghosts though it has reminded me of um, I was going to talk about at one point when we were sort of like planning what this Halloween special was going to be. I thought, oh, maybe we could sort of like share ghost stories and stuff like that. Oh yeah. But I'll tell you this ghost story that's literally just popped back into my head. Okay. Um, I remember waiting outside the Odeon in Bristol. Um, waiting for my friend to go see a film. I can't remember what film. Yeah. And some ghost tour walked past me. Okay. Um, Do you think that you were a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> the so I was I was stood right. You know how they've got posters outside each cinema. Yeah. Like advertising films. Yeah, yeah. They stopped outside one of them and started talking. Basically, apparently behind that poster is three three or four bullet holes. Come back and he said. I don't know how true that part is. Okay. Apparently, back in nineteen forty eight, I believe. Yeah. Um. The Odeon was still there. Yeah. And it was showing a Rudyard Kipling film, something lights out or something along those lines. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's like a war film. Okay. Um, and obviously, like being in the cinema, you're drawn into it, like gunshots and everything. Yeah. And then uh, after the film had sort of finished, um, obviously the moviegoers went out and the staff sort of cleaned up and then went to go see the manager. Mm. He was in the office dead. Oh He'd really? Been shot three times, but the gunshots in the film. One thought it was yeah, part of the film. That. Perfect. Um, well, not perfect, but yeah. a perfect way to cover cover a uh, a shooting, I suppose. Mm. So um, no one knew why it happened. Nothing had been taken. Mm. It's just like this apparently really nice guy was just shot like, really randomly. Okay. And I believe the Odeon uh, closed for a little bit. Yeah. And then reopened eventually back in 1997 or 8 when Godzilla, you know, Matthew Broderick's. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then uh, Matthew Broderick's uh, version came out. Yeah. Reopened for that. Um, this is what I was told in the ghost story. I don't know how true any of this is, obviously. Yeah. Um, opened. And during the screening, like, everyone complained, like, was feeling, like, really cold. Yeah. Like, felt just randomly cold. This was in Screen 3. Yeah. Um, where, which was the film that, um, Screen Film 3 was the uh, screen that was open when the manager was shot. Yeah. Um, the jewellers also, at the time of sort of like the film being shown and everyone getting cold, mm. reported that all of his jewellery started sort of like shaking about. Oh, okay. Like mysteriously sort of like wobbling. Yeah. Um, and then everyone was like, film was over, I didn't think much of it apart from the fact they were randomly chilly mm. and left the building. Okay. Um, except for one guy. So the people, the um, staff came in and was like, excuse me, sir, you need to leave. Mm. Apparently he was just stood there or sat there watching the TV screen. Okay. Or cinema screen. Mm. Um, I was like, sir, film's over, you need to leave. And apparently he just sunk into the chair. Oh, really? And vanished. Uh, yeah. So everyone thinks it's the guy that was shot. Exactly. Uh, um, okay. Screen free in the Odeon Bristol does not do any showings past seven o'clock. Oh, really? And everyone who goes in there yeah. has someone else that they go in with. Okay. And no females go in alone because apparently he only appears to women. Oh, really? Mm. How bizarre. 
really spooky. That is strange. <laughs> I'm surprised like a big corporation like Odeon would like allow them to sort of let them just do the sh- like no showings after seven o'clock because like how much money they're well, going to lose. Only in screen three. Well, I don't know, but even in screen three, you'd think you'd lose. Like, yeah. That's probably potentially one or two showings, maybe. But yeah. Mm. So, so that is true that I can guarantee you that there's no screenings in screen three, and I've also heard two members of staff talking about. Oh no, no, I believe I believe what you're saying. I just I'm just surprised. Like I don't know. I, I'd have thought some like chief executive at Odium wouldn't like believe in anything like yeah. that. But, uh, but yeah, okay. there's a little ghost story to get our Halloween episode. Yeah. See, I don't have any ghosts. I've, I've never experienced anything like. That's actually there's one, not as long a story as yours, but um, my mum and dad did a ghost tour, like probably similar to the one that you were saying about then, um, in a city, and <clears throat> they went past this place and they said it was like an old. It wasn't a house, but it was like it was down sort of an alleyway and like built like office block building kind of thing. I think it was an office block now. Anyway, they used to sort of get complaints of like hearing like babies crying and thing. Anyway, it turned out that it was a uh, obviously hundreds of years ago or whatever it was a brothel and um anyway they did some excavation work on it or they were redoing the building and they found like uh loads of kind of basically babies corpses mm. anyway they sort of ex- exoner- ex- exonerated ex- excavated them excavated yes and then sort of took them out and then reburied them and then after that they they stopped so they reckon that it was the ghosts of potential babies that were from of uh, like kind of backstreet abortions from the from the brothel. Oh, so, yeah, it was. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> One other horror, horror story I've got to tell you about. Oh, okay. Then then we'll get on with the actual main, <laughs> main feature. Um, <laughs> I did a ghost tour. Uh, I was actually part of this ghost tour in Exeter. Yeah. Turns out Exeter doesn't have a huge amount of ghost stories that there are available sort of thing. Yeah. Um. So at one point we walked past the uh, NatWest Bank. Okay. And the guy giving the tour started telling us about Herbert the ghost that um, randomly appears to people who walk past um, in the middle of the night. Sometimes if you look really closely, you're able to see like his poltergeisty sort of like behaviours. Mm. So he gets everyone to like peer into that west. Yeah. Suddenly the TV turns on in the corner of the room. Oh god. You turn around to look at him, he's just putting the TV remote back into his pocket. <laughs> 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 so yeah that made me laugh how bad it was <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah i say i love a good ghost story i love i love like the ones of like um like sh- maritime ones like of ships that have what's that fate there's a famous ship where it's like oh, what it's called it's like a famous ghost ship is it mary celeste no no it's i'm not right. sure if i'm honest but basically the crew all vanished and then the ship appeared like them kind of story i do like yeah right should we crack on with yes let's this? crack on so we picked five short films um all of them except for one are under five minutes long and one of them 20 minutes long okay. um so the first one was picked by you charlie mm-hmm. um and it's called the cop cam you can find all these on youtube like i say and we'll put links possibly yeah, to everything right, yeah, yeah. In, um, in the description. So if you want to follow them then. Um, so apparently Cop Cam, should we watch it? And then possibly give her a little... Yeah, we'll, we'll watch yeah, it and yeah, then we'll yeah. review it. Okay. So going to watch it. You'll prob- I don't know how we're going to do this. You'll probably see us up the other side. Yeah. Don't make any shows. I'm with the next side of Albany Elbrus. I thought it was a bat then. A bat? Well, I think it was only oh, a bat. Okay. Well. Which one now? Police department, anybody in here? Show your hands. Make yourself known. Well, I thought like, I'm going to jump in my seat any second. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Right now. Turn it out. King one, did you copy that? That's what you jump in. Literally about two minutes and twelve seconds long. Yeah, very it's short. Good. We're good though. Yeah, remember those jump scare, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like definitely. very much. You knew something was a car going to happen. Yeah. But you didn't know when. No, I know. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, well, I, I was kind of eating while I was watching it. I thought it was a good idea because I always think I'm going to like start choking when I jump. But... <laughs> I really wanted to drink halfway through it, yeah. but I was like, nope, wasn't worth it. <laughs> Don't want to ruin Charlie's um, furniture. <laughs> <laughs> so, are we going to say 
what happened or just a brief description of what it was? Yeah, I'd say we say what happened. Like, if you, yeah. you're interested in watching, yeah. obviously, go and watch it now. Like, we say they're only yeah, two yeah. minutes long, so yeah. it's not going to take... If you listen to the podcast, two minutes of your life isn't going to be ruined no. now by doing that. Um, so you've gone and watched it. And yeah, so if you haven't gone and watched it, and you just want us to describe it, it's about basically cop cam footage of like this house, isn't there? Mm, it's like a bit of a creepy, abandoned house, mm. like a bungalow thing. And he's sort of exploring it. At one point, I thought, like, he looked into the um, bathroom and I thought something was going to be here behind that shower yeah. curtain. Um, and then he goes into a room and there's, like, he hears whimpering, doesn't he? Yeah. I say, like, yeah, it's definitely yeah, a peak. Yeah, it's like I mean, it's whimpering. And um, there's a body covered. I'd say there's, like, blood coming out of the head area. Yeah, with a sheet. It's like a white sheet over it. Yeah. Um, but it's not moving. No, no. And then suddenly, as he turns around, there's someone there. And then, I thought, well, and then he sort of, the light sort of flashes, doesn't it? And he sort of, Calls on the radio for backup, I think, and then and sort of, and then you just see the body camera on the floor, don't you? And yeah. Then whatever that thing is, sort of, you don't obviously, see a face, do you? No, it's obviously attacked him. Yeah. Yeah, then, like I said, went with the sort of like creepy style jump scare at mm. the end. I feel like we could do one a film like that. Mm. Like, there's not, there's not much to it. There's no real special effects there. Like, there's no somebody creeping about the fucking a wall or anything like that it was dead simple but quite effective wasn't it yeah and it's all done on like a, well like a gopro i suppose yeah exactly yeah very yeah. all you'd need is an abandoned house well yeah, yeah. probably plenty of them around yeah, exactly right should we move on to our next film yes sure. um this is one so i picked the next three films so i figured we'd leave the last one to a, a long film yeah yeah um sense. so this is called this is a film that was um who was it made by uh, i can't remember now but there's a film called lights out um that full feature length film there it is David F Sandberg um and yeah film film lights out feature length film but this is the short that he did for a who's there film challenge and beforehand so we're going to watch that now so if you search lights out who's there film challenge 2030 looking back at old camera bars, I didn't realize that the google pixel set 7 in 2013 <laughs> <laughs> Don't get the Google Pixel, not worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, now we've, we've mentioned Google Pixel twice and there's an advert playing and we're to get some royalties for it. <laughs> this isn't paid. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? A horror film short challenge? Oh, okay. oh that's... It's going to get closer. Looks like an alien thing. Thank you. Was it there? I think so. God, Angie's made me jump. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it again, dear. <laughs> I don't know. You could go to sleep like that. Don't like it, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the anticipation knowing that it's going to happen. But lights are just starting. I've got to turn the lights off in here. I'm glad you. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, lights off. Don't even oh. have. I don't even have an Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'd avoid it through that abandoned warehouse. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. What was that? Alexa, lights on. Mm. <laughs> that oh. one actually scared me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was <a> <laughs> it was the creepiness of it. The, I tell you what, these ones are like... Um, it's kind of like they get to the best part of the film. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's like no sort of like build up to it. It's like straight in yeah. horror, scare, yeah. boom, done. But that was... That was good. At first, I wasn't too sure. I thought it was a bit... The way she kept them just flicking them, like, on, off, mm. on, off, on, off. Like, all right, yeah. like, just get on with it. And then it's like, oh, shit. It's like, like, when it actually appeared right next to her, whatever it was, it was, like, subtle. Mm. But, like, Very yeah. Good. I enjoyed that one. Yeah, I really enjoyed that one. But I found that one more... Mm. Yeah, I found that a bit more scary than the last one. Yeah, oh, 100%. There was a lot of suspense. And yeah, well, that was a good one. The fact that I'm not going to be able to turn off the lights. <laughs> <laughs> What's up next? Right, next one. Bloody Mary Horror Short. Alexa, lights off. Get out of your comfort food zone with the beer rack. But first, a message from our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> It's like that, um, what's it called? So you deliver the food and you make it yourself. The story of Bloody Mary actually terrified me. Are you afraid of the dark? I swear they did a sto- uh, story on it. Okay. Uh, honestly. Like, the idea of this right now is just bringing back oh, nightmares really? from my youth. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be traumatised. Like, I was the one who picked this one. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. I hope Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Bloody Mary. She's let her guard down now. Yeah. 
a lot of creaky doors. I'm going to have to get some WD-40 over here. <laughs> that could be a good sponsor for a horror film. Yeah, I'm back. Sound like someone doing a cat impression. It doesn't even sound like a real cat. Is it? It's going to happen. Yeah. That looked like her. That was like a real there was only one actress credited, so... Oh, uh, OK. I think it was. I wonder if it was purposely meant to look like her. Is that the whole... What is Bloody Mary, anyway? I've I... heard of it, but... Like, I've heard of Bloody Mary, but I don't really know what it is. Can we turn the light back on? Yeah, OK. <laughs> Alexa... <laughs> Light on. Alexa, light on. See, I don't have a, an Alexa, it's just we have a poltergeist called Alexa that turns the lights on and off. <laughs> very <for> very <laughs> helpful. No, I don't know much about Bloody Mary or what oh, um, okay. it is. Um, but in terms of the whole idea of the sort of legend, law, what's mm. the word I'm thinking of here? We'll go with legend. Um, it's if you say Bloody Mary three times into the mirror, she'll appear and kill you. Okay. Why would you do that, though? For shits and gigs. Amazing. Just to prove you can. Yeah, I don't know about that. I wouldn't risk... It's like, my mum once said she did a, uh, what's it called, a Ouija board. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I think she does believe in some sort of thing, but she said like she did it and she's like, she wouldn't do it again. Really? Yeah, and actually she wouldn't bring you doing it again. Because I always used to wind Lauren up by saying, oh, I'm going to buy a Ouija board. Because you meant to, like, when you finish it, you meant to smash the, a glass or something, because if you don't, then whatever the spirits... spirits yeah, they sort of remain and, Ooh. yeah, a bit a bit creepy. Well, the whole idea of it is down to sort of, like, psychology and suggestiveness. Mm. Like, if one person... Because obviously the whole idea is, like... Few of you hold the ring in the middle up, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So, like, if one person sort of, like, thinking B, mm. their hands instinctively are going to B, and then everyone else is going to be like, hold on, we're going to B, and then they think they're going to B because yeah. the ghost is taking to B, and it's, like, just all together, sort of, like, it's teamwork spirit reading. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, That's I, the theory behind Ouija boards. The fact that, surely, if there was a ghost, you'd just put whatever that thing is in the middle, and then nobody touch it, and it'd move it amongst yeah, itself. Like, exactly. why do you all need to touch it? Exactly. Yeah. Plus, also, I'm sure that, like, um, I forgot what their names are, but some sort of, like, you know, like Hasbro. Yeah. Or something like that. I'm sure they own the rights to Ouija boards. Oh, probably. I can imagine. <laughs> I'm it. sure it's, like, a board game yeah. owned thing. Yeah, definitely. Right, should we move on to the next yes. one? Oh, what? Is this. Okay, I think what? just from the picture at the bottom, is it that one on the right? Yeah. Is it Siren Head? Yeah, have you seen that? No, no, I've heard of it. So this one, I, I just Googled horror shorts. Yeah. I say Googled. You use the word Google, is it? Like, that's how you search, because this is a YouTube search. Mm. So I YouTube, um, horror shorts, and then sorted by most viewed, and okay. this was the number one. So I've heard of it. Let's watch it. But first, <laughs> another message from our sponsors. <laughs> I don't know whether this will stay in it. No. Oh, two sponsors. Yeah, milk thing. Sign with fingers. I like the white chocolate one. So do I. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Already back. Bigger production than the last mm -hmm. one. It was outside, for one. Nice little camera pan across the lake. Feels like an episode of Death in Paradise. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I do after, like, sort of experience paranormal shit, potentially, Karen? What? Run towards the screams. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? I mean, it would make to be fair, out my brain's automatically gone there because of the three horror films that we watched just <laughs> leading up to this. It would make a crap film if they ran away from it. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it was chasing them. Uh, is that was that a shoe? That shoe looked like his shoe. Like, is it going to be something where he's like? No, because he was. He's not wearing a jacket, is he? What is that? It has teeth. Boy, and his little speaker thing. Yeah. It's that thing you always see on the, well, so you always see on the emergency broadcast thing. <laughs> this unrealistic fake hand I've ever seen yeah, in my life. Yeah. But they run fast. I'm not sure what I felt about that one. No, I did not enjoy that one. No. It, was... it being the most viewed on... 157 million views as well. I'd, I've heard of Siren Head because I've never read, heard of Slender Man. Yeah. Like, I think I ended up just like Googling about Slender Man and then started then that coming to this Siren Head. But yeah, that wasn't... It felt... I mean, I'm, all the others we've watched are all like very, very low budget, but... This one like looked low budget. Yeah, the CGI. Mm. Mm. I don't really recommend that one. No. I was quite disappointed in it because I, like I said I didn't realise there was anything like this about the siren. So it's a shame they couldn't have done it better. Yeah. But 
There you go. 157 million views, though. Yeah. We didn't enjoy it, but there's people out there have. Well, exactly. And hey, with our viewers, it's going to get up to at least 2 million. <laughs> <laughs> right, should we watch the final one? Yes. So this one's a long one. This is 22 minutes, I believe. Um, You say it's done by Neil Blumkamp, the yes. creator of... um District 9. District 9. That's all we know about it. I was going to say, I couldn't name any more films that he's done either. Uh, he did Elysium with Matt oh, Damon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know any more than that. That was Alexa. Lights off. <laughs> Just so you know, she didn't turn off no. the lights. <laughs> Alexa, lights off. She keeps on saying okay. I feel like there genuinely is a poltergeist here now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't turn off the lights, Charlie. <laughs> Alexa, lights off. There we go. I think there's like a sci-fi thing by the looks of it. Yeah, I think it was described as like a sci-fi horror. Okay. Oh, I recognise that. It's Dakota Fanning. Is it? Yeah. It's already A-list mm. actors for one. Now pick up the fucking gun! Very aliens type vibe. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> that made me jump a bit on that firework <laughs> outside. You struggling to understand what you're saying, hot fun. I know. You raspy. I saw the line and can't have a line. Mm. Could be like a sort of Hollywood film with a sort of... Yeah, it's a massive budget, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the set and thing. Now when we open that door... Can't make around if they're on a spaceship or something. Well, they're about to be outside, aren't they? So maybe it's a space station. Okay. Looks like it's made up of people. Yeah, like the body parts of the yeah. vendors, maybe? Yeah. Hey, you're not much ammo, good thing. No. She, she didn't really seem to aim much well. Very well either. It almost didn't seem the point of. It would have been better to run. Yeah, yeah. If I'm mistaken, man. Was she a robot? I sort of noticed that when they went to the UV bit. Mm. My forehead. Yeah, I did think that. So why did that kill it? Like the handgun kill it, but that machine gun did it instead. Yeah. I... Sounds like a goat scream. Yeah. I just took that axe back with me. I probably took that hand back out as well. Yeah, but that hand can get in. I wonder if the hand's going to let it in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alexa, lights on. I enjoyed that. Yeah, it was very different. Not what I expected. No. I felt like that could be like that could be a really good film. Yeah, the sort of like finding out what happened before mm. and then follow on afterwards. Yeah. Right, let's turn this off for a second. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Alright. So we watched all three. All three? All five. 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 Unless we don't count. Uh, sh- was it Shutterhead? Oh. I thought you Siren. Siren Head. I forgot Siren his name already. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Rubbish. Definitely, Rubbish. Definitely the worst one. What was your favourite? The five? Uh, that's a tough one. It's either going to be this one we've just watched. The, what's it called? Zygote. Zygote or the uh, cop cam. Oh, really? For me, mm. it's either Zygote or Lights Out. The ones where the lights went out. Oh, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was good as well. Um, I liked what you said about sort of like... In terms of the short films, I've never really watched short films before, but it gets down to sort of like the point straight away. Yeah, yeah. And with a horror film, the point of a horror film is to start to scare you. Mm. And it literally, from the moment it starts, horror's begun. Yeah. And I think like sometimes with the other horror films, you're waiting a long time before you see what... Like, for example, if this had been a feature film, you, you could be an hour an hour and a bit into the film before you even see that all right near the oh, end. Oh, yeah. Um, it's just something t- picking off people and they don't know what it is. Yeah, exactly. But, like, there's things about this zygote that I'm intrigued about. I wonder if there's, like, any follow-ups or anything. Because, hmm. um, like, what's the light that he's seen that's sort of, like, taking him from the inside and yeah. stuff like that? But I noticed when he was lying, before he chopped off his thumb, when there was that, or finger, there was that other dead person yeah or synthetic or whatever and that there was some light that was coming the face was obviously gone but some light from in that okay so I don't know but obviously that creature like just to take body parts there was obviously hands. things like what was that alien thing on the bed that sort of like opened up that she was looking at for ages oh, and she yeah. sort of walked past it yeah I mean, I it literally looked that. like the alien from alien yeah yeah 
recent, yeah. It kind of reminded me of Alien, actually. Mm. I thought, no, that was good. I mean, obviously, a lot bigger budget, that film, than uh, some of the others we've watched today. And, and clearly, yeah, very well part. done than looking um, Siren Head. Yeah. Siren Head 0, Zygo 10. Yeah, definitely. There we go. Yeah. All right. Well, that's our Halloween Spectacular done. I hope you've gone away and watched those films with us. And maybe next year we'll do a similar thing, actually. I quite like the short films. Yeah, it was good. Oh, I'm sure there's short films for any type of genre. Yeah. Isn't so maybe we could explore that in the future. And if anyone's Join us any... next week for our Bonfire short film spectacular. <laughs> Check if there's any Bonfire short films. <laughs> We're going to just watch a firework display. Yeah, yeah. Join us next week as we watch a firework display on YouTube. <laughs> Don't, because we're not going to be coming back next week. No, 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 definitely not. <laughs> don't, don't sit there Monday and say, we put on a new episode, I uh, promise. Uh, <laughs> right, uh, should we wrap it up there? That we shall, that's we shall. All right, thanks for listening, guys. We'll see you in, well, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've started putting out some uh, short movie reviews again. Oh, yeah. Season well, two's begun. When my other half started listening to the podcast, she was like, oh, there's a lot of episodes. I said, and she says, oh, has Mike just done some on his own? I was like, oh, no. Like, their reviews of films. What do you mean? I was like, we just going to do Well, she's in for a treat. <laughs> so, um, I've released uh, Clerks 3. Did a little review on that. On what? Clerks 3. Did the Clerks 1 or 2? Oh, Clerks. It, it's done by Kevin Smith. Oh, okay. Um, and you know Jane Silent Bob? Yes. They're from there. Oh, okay. Um, and I love the Kevin Smith films, the Bureau of Skew Universe, as they're called. So, Clerks, Dogma, Chasing Amy, Mall Rats, love them all. Okay. And this is like a perfect sort of end to this universe that started back in like 94. Okay. So, yeah, I've done a little review of that. Um, and I'm going to, the, I'm in the middle of watching a film called Mad God. Um, that was recommended to me by a friend called Steph. And I, I was hexed her the other day. So I've only just watched 13 minutes of it on the bus. Okay. Okay. So I'm really not that far into it. And this is what I text her on the bus. And I'm, well, okay, 12 minutes in. Yeah. So far, a man has binoculars that when he zooms in, he can hear a man playing the piano and a woman being stabbed. And a giant mutant potato has chopped up a mummy with no legs and sounds like a chimp. <laughs> also following on from that, like at the 13 minute mark, he opens up a door and there's a monkey type thing on a like operating table and a porcelain doll next to it, pleasuring herself. This is a weird film. Yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm watching. This is a weird film. Um, I can't believe you're watching this on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting to see a porcelain doll pleasuring herself. But it's like, it's a film that got released this year on Shudder, so it's a horror film. And it's been 30 years in the making. 30 years 30 years and it's stop motion Uh, apparently it is getting rave reviews so I'm going to stick with it and then I'll give my review in Mike's movie reviews okay so listen to that to see a very in-depth analysis on it yeah sounds interesting (laughs) very interesting yeah right and then we'll be back with some new episodes in about a month and a half-ish yeah month and a half two months we'll be back with a load more episodes right thanks for listening again and have a good Halloween thank you take care <laughs> you know what? There was a bit of a slight pause, and I was expecting. I don't know. I thought you were going to do something. <laughs>